welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have my WWE Fastlane 2021 predictions for you guys. As you guys know, Fastlane coming up in a couple days. Now, I think a lot of people, maybe 80% or more, would probably tell us that they're not looking forward to this show or they think this show's a waste of space. This show shouldn't take place. We should have went from Chamber to Mania. And I would agree with you for sure. I think that, you know, this is kind of just a waste. They could have done a lot of these things on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown on the build the WrestleMania. You could have probably had a lot more importance in your shows going into WrestleMania, which is what WrestleMania used to be, man. You know, the road to WrestleMania used to feel really special. This year, it doesn't feel that, you know, it doesn't really have that feel to it. The, the card for WrestleMania is already kind of looking lackluster and things like that, but you guys already know as well as I do, every time we're not really looking forward to a show, it's usually a banger. So maybe that will be the case with Mania, but we're not looking forward to Mania just yet because we got Fastlane. We got this show. There's some solid things on this show that I'm looking forward to. But here in this video, guys, I am going to take you through the full Fastlane card, giving you my full predictions on what I think will take place, where I hope we go from here, where I think we'll go from here going into WrestleMania, and all of those things. So let's shut the hell up and dive into Fastlane 2021 and break it all down. So starting things out first, guys, with the Women's Tag Team Championship match. We got to get this out of the way because these titles right here shouldn't have even been made. I talk about it every predictions video. I don't want to spend too much time on it here, but I'm going to use this time to shout out my Twitter page. Go follow me on Twitter at my damn toys i tweet a bunch of like crazy stuff all the time like i'll just get on there and randomly tweet stuff you'll get insights about upcoming videos you'll get insights and insider knowledge about a lot of things that are going on with the channel you can tweet along with me as i watch pay-per-views to get my actual reaction in real time as we watch the pay-per-views as they happen so go follow me at my damn toys i'd really really appreciate it and you'll kind of get how i'm feeling about the show before we get on here for the review after the show goes off the air but getting into this matchup man i think a lot of us already know that we really don't want to see this matchup take place again. Bianca and Sasha Banks are already on the card for Mania, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's already a booked matchup. Of course, Bianca Belair is your Royal Rumble winner, and that matchup is probably going to be the best women's match on the entire card. So, I think that we're definitely going to get some games in this one, or some shenanigans in which Sasha Banks or Bianca Belair, I'm guessing Sasha Banks is going to turn on Bianca, beat the hell out of her, and set up their Mania matchup that's already confirmed. So, I mean, they're definitely not winning the tag titles, unless they just don't want the tag titles on the main show. They could have them win it here and then have a, you know, a, a SmackDown Women's Championship match as they're the tag champs, which would be really, really weird, but I guess I could see them doing something like that, but I'm going to go with Nia and Shayna Baszler to retain their tag championships, and yeah, let's let's just move on from this, man. Next up, guys, is our Intercontinental Championship match, and it's kind of weird because we have both mid-card championships on this show, and it's very weird to me. Like, I, I why do I feel like it's been 100 million years since we saw the Intercontinental and U.S. Championships defended on the same show? I don't know why it feels that way. I could be wrong about that. It just kind of feels that way. But Big E defending against Apollo. I'm really happy these two guys are battling over a mid-card championship. Makes me very happy as well as the U.S. title picture, which we'll get into, of course, in this video coming up. However, this one's interesting to me. I don't know where they're going to go from here because I don't know exactly what they're planning for Mania. If they're going to have a big ladder match, are they going to have a lot of guys involved? Is it going to be a triple threat? Are we just going to get another one-on-one? -on -one? Which is why Fastlane is kind of annoying right here because why do we need this matchup when we could have built it a little bit more maybe throw another guy in there building up to mania i don't know man I, I don't know where they're planning this one i could see them throwing a bunch of guys into a ladder match and having a big old corral there and it'd be really really nice uh, at the end of the day i feel like uh, i think i'm gonna go with big e i think i'm gonna go big e in this one simply because like couldn't you just see them throwing ko sammy shinsuke big e apollo seth rollins all into this big intercontinental championship ladder match wouldn't that be absolutely beautiful for Mania. Hopefully they end up doing something like that. I think that would be brilliant, but yeah, man, I think, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I feel it, but I think Big E's going to retain the championship and we'll see where the Intercontinental Championship kind of goes from here. Next up, guys, we have a singles match between my man Seth Rollins taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, honestly, I think Shinsuke would get a lot of benefits from winning this matchup. Of course, you do have, like, Cesaro involved in this thing, and but again, I don't know really where they're going from here. I don't know what their plans are exactly. I heard it was just going to be Cesaro versus Seth Seth Rollins straight up at WrestleMania. However, I think I'm going to go Rollins to win here. I think it would probably be better for the babyface to go over at WrestleMania or whatever they're planning here. But again, I don't know the full fleshed out plan just yet. I don't know if we know the full concrete plan. So I just feel like Seth Rollins, maybe this
this will be a really good match. I hope they give these guys time and we get a pretty good match. And maybe we'll get a little prequel to what we make and get at Mania, depending on what matchup we get. But I think I'm going to go with the Messiah here. Go with Seth Rollins over Shinsuke Nakamura, and we'll just see how that thing goes. Hopefully, we get some cool gear, though. And I also don't know why the hell the Shinsuke is, like, towering over Seth. Like, I think this is a giant difference. I'm not sure. I guess it's the legs of Nakamura. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know nothing. Next up, guys, is our U.S. Championship match between Matt Riddle and Mustafa Ali, two guys that I absolutely enjoy. I think these two guys are both brilliant. And again, just like Biggie and Apollo, really happy to see these guys square off on pay-per-view for a mid-card championship. Makes me really happy to see these guys battling it out. However, didn't we already get this matchup right on Monday Night Raw? We saw this matchup, Matt Riddle versus Mustafa Ali, in which Matt Riddle defe defeated him. But Mustafa Ali did defeat Riddle at the beginning of the month. So I guess this is kind of our best two out of three scenario here. Ali defeats Riddle, Riddle defeats Ali, and then they have a rematch scheduled here for Fastlane. Again, another kind of like, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's a throwaway match. I don't really know what to tell you. Mustafa Ali's been doing some pretty damn good work. I always enjoy Matt Riddle. He's, I think he's fantastic for the mid card, especially. These two are absolutely freaking incredible in the ring, so I think it's going to be a fun one, but I uh, I want to say I feel like Ali's going to win. I, I don't know why. I just feel like he's going to win here, but I really don't want to see Matt Riddle's championship reign end this soon because, you know, he just now, he captured the title at Elimination Chamber. I'd hate to see him drop it this early after winning the championship, so I'm going to go Matt Riddle retaining the U.S. Championship. Maybe we get another matchup. Maybe some more people get involved. We'll have to see about that, but I'm going to go Matt Riddle to retain even though I'm enjoying Mustafa Ali's work. I just, I don't know, man. For some reason, something's telling me Matt Riddle, so I'm going to roll with Matt Riddle and just see where it goes. Next up, guys, is our intergender match. Randy Orton taking on Alexa Bliss. Intergender matchup here, and I think the whole story, we already know where we're going. Fiend versus Randy Orton is being booked already for WrestleMania, like you can already see it here. I think the Fiend will, uh, he'll show up here, man. I think we get the Fiend returning here at Fastlane, setting up the, the Mania matchup for Randy Orton, and I think Randy Orton will go over here, or he will lose at the very last second, as in the Fiend comes in, you know, distractions, you know, uh, crazy, crazy crazy, spooky-ish, and Alexa Bliss wins. I think Alexa Bliss will win. I don't know why he would allow Alexa Bliss to lose, though, so I think Fiend shows up. Alexa Bliss ends up getting the victory, setting up Mania, Orton versus Fiend, so I'm gonna go Fiend showing up here and costing Randy Orton the matchup, leading to their WrestleMania match, and uh, I thought about a Buried Alive match for Mania between these two, or some sort of cinematic matchup, but I guess we will have to see exactly how that goes, because, I mean, Randy Orton set this man ablaze, and I don't know how a Buried Alive matchup makes that any better so you know if you, if you can't kill him with fire buried alive I don't, I, I don't know it's kind of like the only way you stop jason Voorhees is you don't really kill him you just you dig a big ass hole you put the you put him in there and then you pour concrete on it and you seal him in there where he can't move that's really the only way you defeat monsters like jason Voorhees and the fiend so i don't know i guess we'll just have to see how it plays out but i'm gonna go alexa bliss over randy orton Next up, guys, we have a no-holds-barred match between the number one contender, the WWE Championship number one contender, Drew McIntyre, taking on his best friend or former best friend in Sheamus. Now, this should be a hard-hitting one. Now, I, I don't know why, but I feel like Bobby Lashley will get involved in this matchup, leading to a triple threat at WrestleMania. But then again, I think Drew McIntyre could just win straight up because I think that Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan and Edge are probably building to a triple threat. So, I, I think that Drew McIntyre will win this one, and it could be a scenario where Maybe he does something to Sheamus that writes him off for a little bit. That way, you know, Sheamus isn't involved in the WWE Championship picture. So I'm going to go Drew McIntyre just winning straight up. Hopefully we get a good football game. Both of these guys are really, really physical, really strong, really big. So I think Drew McIntyre over Sheamus is the way to go. Straight up victory. We don't need any BS. Let these guys go. Give us a good football game. And we'll see where we go for Mania. And for our main event, guys, the Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns defending against Daniel Bryan with Edge as the special guest enforcer. Now, I don't know what exactly they're planning here. I don't like special guest enforcer. I guess, like, it's stupid because he's not the special guest referee, I don't think. You know, I, I don't think that's how it works. So I think the special guest enforcer pretty much like he 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 kind of plays a role in the in the you know the handling of the matchup. But if the original inside referee becomes permanently incapacitated, the enforcer can have decision making power. So I think that's kind of where we're headed here. I think that Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan will do war. I think will lead to a regular ref bump, and then we will get where Daniel Bryan will end up losing to Roman Reigns in some form or fashion, where Edge will end up doing the pin count. Maybe his shoulder will be up, or maybe 
you know, it'll be something like that, or maybe he wasn't passed out when, you know, Edge thought he was passed out or something like that, and we'll end up getting a triple threat at WrestleMania between Roman Edge and Daniel Bryan. I think that is where we're building here for this matchup, but Roman Reigns is absolutely going to retain. No, you know, no ifs or buts. I think Roman Reigns retains the Universal Championship. Edge will end up costing Daniel Bryan the matchup because of a bad decision or a mistake, and that will lead there between this match. I think that, I mean, it pretty much writes itself. I mean, the, Roman could just beat Daniel Bryan straight up and Daniel Bryan go do something else. I just don't see that happening at this juncture. I think we are going to get Roman versus Edge versus Daniel Bryan, which should be one of the best matches of the night, if not the best match of the night. A matchup I'm really looking forward to, whether it's Edge versus Roman or Roman versus Edge versus Daniel Bryan. doesn't really matter to me, man. I am hyped for the match, and I think that hopefully this matchup right here will be again a little taste of what we can get at Wrestlemania but that is going to do it for my fast lane predictions guys let's go ahead and get into a random shout out before we get the hell out of here and for this random shout out guys it is going to go to all star figures who says that MDT attire has something special going on there young man I thought that was pretty good right there so a huge shout out to all star figures for the shout out and the comment on our last video guys if you would like a shout out in a future video leave me a comment subscribe to the channel turn on the bell for notifications and leave a like as well and you could earn yourself a a shout out in our next video but thank you guys so very much for watching i think that is gonna pretty much do it for my fast lane predictions are you guys looking forward to the show are you somewhere in between on it i don't really know you know i guess we're just gonna kind of see how it feels and stuff like that i think it'll end up being a better show than we think just because you know we're not really looking forward to it that much but yeah i'm getting the hell out of here leave me your predictions down below and i'll see you guys in the next video and if you uh want to be careful don't cross the line like this fast lane pay-per-view did by by just simply existing <laughs> Cross the line, I've been beat